Hi everybody, it's Julie and welcome to the Messy Desk. Um, today I'm going to work with altered tags. That is the letter A for our the letter A A the letter A for our ABC junk journal challenge and so the A is an altered tag. So I'm going to do one. I might get to get to do two if we have time. And this is just going to be an altar tag using some items that I have hanging around. One of the things I do have is this napkin. And um, it's really fun because it's got two different birds. Okay, so you get your American goldfinch and your Carolina wren. Um, you get three of each of them on this napkin. So, um, I think that is really cool. And we are going to start by using this image right here. And I am going to actually cut the napkin a little bigger this time. And, oh, I forgot to take the plies off of it. Oops. So we'll show you that. <laughs> Doing it. <laughs> okay, so taking the ply off your napkin, you just want to um, go ahead and see if, sometimes you're able to just do it like that. You want to check and see if you have a second ply. This one doesn't. Um, but sometimes there will be two and sometimes even three plies for your for your napkin so I do have these napkins available in my Etsy shop and this particular napkin you get in either the bird or the flower um, set so there's two different uh, sets of napkins that I have and so I'm going to start with like I said with this little bird and I'm going to put him on here and I'm going to use the bottom of my Tombow liquid glue. And I'm going to just go ahead and add it on here. I like this glue because I like to be able to use the bottom once it takes too long for the, the top to come out. Um, then I'm able to use the bottom and to coat quite liberally my whatever I am working on. So I love it for covers and things like that. So now I'm just going to come back and make sure that I at least get the bird in his beak on and I'm just going to rub it down. Now this is, I, I don't know what they call it. I call it dry um, decoupage. <laughs> And of course I messed up right here, but it's okay because we can always come in and fix it. So we're just going to come in and pull some of that up. Okay. And then we've got a wrinkle there, but it's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. So now up here, I am actually going to want to try and get it off of and I'm gonna use a pen okay you can go ahead and use a hole punch to do this I'm just gonna use a pen this time get my hole okay and if I can get it to go around even better, right? I'm going to take my pen, or you can use an X-Acto knife, might be better. I'm a little rusty, you guys, after two weeks away from the messy desk. Um, I had pre I had pre-recorded videos when I was leaving to go to my mom and dad's house. And then I did do some of the videos from their house. But we are back in 
back at home, the messy desk. And I just, I want, I do want the look of this, you know, since it's there, have a little bit of this, the brown circle. Make sure I'm using the cutting edge of the Apparently we did have some glue there. Okay. There we go. So, of course, that's going to be up to you, whether you want to save where the, the covering is. I'm not so worried about it on the top, because on the top it's going to get covered with whatever twine, but the bottom part, I do want it to be there. Okay, so now let's come over here. We have a little bit of... So I just took a piece from over here and put it on that area that was missing paper because I had ripped it. Very forgiving <laughs> napkin. Nap working with napkins it can be very forgiving, except for when your glue doesn't want to come out. So let's go ahead and use the back of this. There we go. And there's that. So now, um, go ahead and you can cut this now or you can wait for it to dry. I'm going to wait for it to dry. And I have pulled out some items to add to my tag here. I think I'm going to distress this little piece of a guest check. It was sitting here on my desk. You know how I am about, I've always got, <laughs> always got stuff hanging around my desk. So let's go ahead and just distress this a little bit. Because where I'm planning to use this, um, some of it is, some of the journal is distressed. So I have a cosmetic sponge that I'm using today. And antique linen. So it's not going to be super dark. It's going to be closer to um, like tea dyeing or like it says antique linen. Okay. So thinking. I'm probably going to add it on to the bottom down here. Rather than um, disrupting this up here, I want, I, I really like this picture, and um, so I think I'm going to run it right across there, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to add on to the bottom of this tag using this right here. Okay. And this is um, a piece of ledger that was left over on my desk. Okay. So we've just gone ahead, attached it to the back. That's made our tag a little longer. And then I'm going to come in and I want the numbers to show up. 
So, go ahead and put glue on the back of the bottom of this guest check. And come down to the bottom of the tag and put it across. Okay, so I've, I've made my tag longer. Could have made that into a pocket. I'm surprised I, did, I didn't, aren't you? <laughs> okay, so there we've added and made it a little longer. Um, we have this stamp that was also on my desk. I'm gonna just take it over to the stamp pad and just rub it in the stamp pad to get my distressing on this this time, okay? And if you tear it, you'll wanna go back a little bit, <clears throat> a little bit more. Okay, so we'll probably use that. Um, I have a piece of gold doily or a gold doily. Okay, so I think we can come across and start cutting stuff off here. Okay, so we'll just. got something stuck. Don't want that to make it so that this doesn't cut straight. And of course you could um, line these up and have a few of these, you know, like six of them with each of the birds and be making them all at the same time. If you wanted to. Okay. So there we have. Of course we still we have this little mess going on up there. That's fine. Okay. Now I think I want to stamp something on here and Hoping to find just like I have so many stamps. So there's a beach. Just want some words, I think. Butterfly kisses and birthday wishes. You make my heart flutter. Ooh, a clock. A clock. I like the clock. I like the clock. Okay. So, excuse me, we're going to grab a little thingy here. Cover on that one. Throw this away. Black stamp pad is behind behind the gold thread and the pens. You might see the pens come out. This whole thing need I was just getting ready to clean my my area when I that was going to be my next thing. Okay, so I'm getting my stamp inked and because I have the gold foil I think it's going to go over here I think we'll come up and we do have this stamp also could go down here but I think up here is going to be better okay um I want something round something round I'm looking. I just want to cover this because I don't want to stamp on that. So this is called masking. It's going to be a little bit off, but 
We'll cut a circle out of that. This is masking. So I'm going to go ahead and set this so that the clock doesn't go on that brown. Now, just in case we dried. And on my ink pads that are a little bit older, I know that I still have ink <laughs> on the edge, usually. Okay, so this is right side up. All right. Yeah, there's a crown. Okay. We don't want to be on the bird. If we can help it. So there we have some stamping, the clock. Okay, come back in. Put this way, I don't want to stab myself. <laughs> okay. And Doesn't have to be a gold doily, it could be any doily. And remember, you don't ever have to use things as they are. Okay, I'm gonna grab some scratch paper because the top of this glue doesn't want to come out, so I'm just gonna use the bottom rather than fight with it. <laughs> the tag went too. Okay. Now come down. Put it on. Up to the edge. There we go. Look at there. There we go. And if you had these lined up, you could have the doily going on to the next one, and that stamp could have gone to the next one. Um, but, you know, we didn't do that this time. We're just getting us an altered tag for our A. Okay, so this is our A for the ABC Junk Journal Challenge. And... We have that. The other thing we have is a piece of map paper. Does it, if it looks like I'm just trying to use up stuff that's on my desk, I'm just trying to use up stuff that's on my desk. <laughs> Kind of a leftover of last month's um, spring stash buster junk journal challenge. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. Lay you down. Pull it down because we want the beak. Don't want to cover up the beak. <laughs> Covered up tail and that was fine, but I didn't want to cover up any beak of our little birdie. Okay. So this is an altar tag. You're just taking a tag and, you know, decorating it, turning it into something, uh, something different. If you had a, like a layaway tag or a clothing tag, you know, that would truly be altering it. I just happen to have a tag tag, like purchasing tag or something. Okay, we do have our stamp. I do want to add our stamp.
Okay. And then we can use this piece of lace if we can cut it as our trim because it's right here next to me. That's that's why because it's right here. I don't have to go looking for a trim. I'm not going to put back in the twine that was in it. I'm because I cut something that was the glue was still wet. It's trying to stick. Okay. There's that. And Go ahead and put these through one at a time. So we have 26 days in April, so I will probably do one each one uh, you know each letter each day. And uh, so this is our A, an altered tag. Very, very simple. Now we'll just let it dry. And um, yeah, so you can make just one or, or more for your part in the ABC Junk Journal Challenge. If you're interested in joining the challenge, you can find us at the Facebook group. ABC Junk Journal Challenge. April ABC Junk Journal Challenge. Sorry. April ABC Junk Journal Challenge where we have 26 different things that we will be using in a junk journal um, with the premise of using the alphabet. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for being here. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.